fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World. Today we're here on the Shetland Islands in Northern Scotland. And today what we have for you are some of the scams you should look out for when you come and visit the United Kingdom. And the thing is, in general, look, the United Kingdom is not like Shetland, the TV series where there's murder and intrigue and all kinds of crazy stuff and things going on all the time. No, those murder mystery stuff, that's more of a, a fictionalized version of things. In general, the UK is actually pretty safe to visit, especially if you're going to places like the Shetland Islands or you're going to be going to the smaller villages and driving around and stuff like. It's a pretty safe place, very few scams to really worry about. So most of the scams we're going to be talking about are in bigger cities like London, Manchester, Edinburgh, things like that you might see. But it's always a good idea to have this in mind when you are traveling around just in case because honestly probably the biggest scam the locals have to worry about is somebody calling up and pretending to be your bank to try to get your bank or credit card information remember your bank already has all your credit card information they do not need to ask for it okay so don't worry about that but as a traveler some of the things you need to look at I think the first kind of scam or ripoff you might see when you come here is when you're getting pounds okay when you get pounds out from the ATM if your home currency is like a Euro is the euro or the dollar or, or whatever, you'll see that the ATMs will give you the option to convert to your home currency. So you want to take out 250 pounds, right? And so say, oh, well, we can convert this to dollars right away. And then you know what the dollar amount that will be that'll come out of your account back home. Wow, isn't that so nice of them? Restaurants might do this. Stores might do this for you. Oh, they're so nice. Never, ever, ever take the conversion. Why? Because think about it, they're doing the conversion. So are they gonna give you the best exchange rate or are they gonna find a few percentage points to put back in their pocket? So what you always wanna do is when you take money out of the ATM or you pay for things with your credit card and they offer you to pay in your home currency, say no, I wanna pay in pounds, please, and let your bank back home do the conversion. Because look, when you go back home, you can complain to your banker there versus what can you do if you already did the stuff in another country? So do not take the conversion. That's a big thing that I always warn people about, okay? Another Another credit card thing you might look out for this is getting less and less but it's still something you got to pay attention if you see anything extra on an ATM when you're taking money out maybe there's a, like it looks like there's an extra thing on the card reader or there's a little camera on the side or something like that you got to be careful that people aren't skimming the cards or recording your pin numbers and this could be when you're at the store putting your pin number in to pay for things look you always want to cover up your pin number okay even if you're at the ATM and no one's around it's a good idea to put your hand over it put your pin number in and do that just in case okay because you never know if somebody's watching so that's another thing I'd say to look out for now another credit card thing you might want to look out for actually has to do with taxis and I found this to happen quite often late night or early morning taxis their credit card system is down and I'm always thinking to myself wow the worldwide credit card system is down how are people buying things on the internet right now I mean, it's most of the time it's not true. I mean, they're like, they just don't want to lose that three or 4% when you use your credit card because all they have to do is run it through their phone and stuff like that. So just know that you might have the, oops, our credit card doesn't work. So it's always a good idea to have cash. Now I will say in general, taxis throughout the UK on the up and up, a lot of them will give you a lot of good information as well, especially like in London, the London Black Cabs, really good guys. They're, they'll tell you about the city and the, all kinds of stuff. So that's really cool. I will say your, your Lyft and Uber drivers sometimes don't know their directions quite as well so it's a little bit easier to get lost and stuck in traffic and remember you always have to know the exact location with uber and lyft whereas if you have like a taxi usually you can give them a rough idea where you want to go and they're like oh i know that restaurant i know that store i know that street and that might be a better way to get around now another scam i've seen a few times actually had people try to do it to me a few times is you'll have the ticket scams now there's different kinds of ticket scams there's a transportation ticket scam and then there's like the theater ticket scam things like that so the transportation ticket scam it could be you're, you're London or somewhere and they're, you're trying to you know figure out how to use the little machine to buy your tickets and someone come like hey I, I got the rest of my day pass here I'll give you for a euro they go like, oh, sure you give me euro you go up it doesn't work you're never gonna find that person again what they're doing is using old tickets and stuff like that to get a little bit of money from people and they know if they're tourists they're probably not gonna see them again so just be like no I'm good I'll, I'll get my own ticket for that so there's a heads up for that one another one if you're in a bigger city and they're selling uh, shows to plays or there's an incredible deal to see the latest big hit West End musical or play 
realize a lot of times those might be scams always go through an official agent for buying your tickets just so you know you have a place to go and it's bought that way because if you're buying it you know off the streets and stuff like that there, there's no guarantees and you have no recourse if something happens oh and speaking of fake all those things you're buying off the street and stuff like that they're, they're, they're not really gucci they're not really armani I, I think you know that but just in case you're wondering those aren't the legit you know crown jewels that they're selling on the side of the street all right so so have a heads up for that and i I think another thing you should know is another scam to look out for are the fake beggars that are out there and they might be dressed up in some religious order saying oh we're taking money for our religious order help us out or or this we're trying to work for this charity the thing is what you need to know in the UK if they're a charity and they're trying to raise money they should have a license saying that hey this is what who we are and this is what we're doing and we're allowed to ask for money so if someone's you know asking for money for, for anything don't be afraid to ask it's like you know what this doesn't sound legit I don't want to do this or or let me see your license to make sure it is legit because they mean they have some good stories so you got to be careful with that and also remember a lot of the beggars you might see in the bigger cities they're not necessarily like begging 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 like they really need the money now because they're going to starve a lot of times it's organized begging groups that are doing that so you know maybe think twice before you just give over money to people begging on the streets now i'm not saying don't do it if you it's up to you i'm not trying to be a horrible person because there are people that do need help but in general you need to be thinking about these things before you're giving your money out and i bring that up because you're going to see a lot of the beggars when you're going near bigger bigger sites around the UK and so you'll notice also it's not just beggars that show up more at bigger sites it's also pickpockets and the thing is pickpockets do happen here in the UK especially if you're at bigger sites if you're going to be you know, any place where people stop paying attention to themselves or paying attention to something else makes a good pickpocket location so that could be you know when you're going to a site and you're like oh wow look at that beautiful building or or look at the the tower of london isn't it great or you know you're just not there and you're not paying attention makes it easier to get people to pickpocket you or open yourself up to being pickpocketed thing is in the uk you have a lot of really good buskers you know the street performers and you'll want to stop and watch them you know because they're really good and you'll see them all over the place but the thing is is if you're like this that person can come and, and pickpocket you and stuff like that. So if you're gonna be in busier places, do do have a heads up, keep your wallet in your front pocket, make sure you're locking your stuff up at your hotel when you're going out for the day, things like that. So do do have a heads up for that. And I think another kind of scam pickpocket location that's important to talk about is public transportation because the UK has a lot of people in it, okay? The farther you go north, the more sparsely populated it is. But when you're in bigger cities, again, this is what we're talking about, more like bigger city scams, is when you have public transportation, there's usually a lot of people on the the buses on the tube stuff like that and therefore you're smushed up and you don't notice someone picking a pocket or or grabbing something out of your bag because oh that's just other people getting smushed into me you want to have a heads up when you're on public transportation because it is a really kind of easier place to get nailed especially if you're in any of the bottleneck locations being like places where it's a lot of a lot of tube lines coming in or a lot of bus lines coming in and then we're trying to follow into somewhere else a lot of bumping and stuff like that it does happen and if you do notice that your wallet got pickpocketed once you realize it happened what i recommend you do is trace your steps back from where you you last time you remember it like having it because a lot of times what they do is they just want the cash and so what they'll do is they'll take the wallet take the cash out and they'll throw the wallet away right away because the thing is if i have cash in my hand you can't prove that's their cash because i don't think anybody really takes pictures of every bill but if i have their wallet that will get me in trouble so they'll ditch the wallet right away so just walk back at least you'll get like your driver's license back and your cards and and your other stuff that you know the pain you know getting your insurance card back oh my gosh it's a pain in the butt you know so you got to really think about these things so just walk back and those kind of things so just pay attention on public transport and the thing is is most of the scams i'm talking about here in the uk are just typical scams anywhere you go you know i've seen the bird poop scam you know there's bird poop on on you and someone tries to help you or they get mustard on you and they distract you and people can get your bags i've seen people trying to do that in multiple locations um so you don't know, just just be smart about stuff you know they do have the petition people saying oh will you sign my petition now give me money for that petition uh sorry are you a licensed charity giver let me see that official piece of paper and it won't be all folded up and smashed and greasy and stuff like that it will be an official kind of thing all right so have a heads up for that um, another one I've seen quite often because here in the UK uh, the coins are really worth something like a pound coin there's a two pound coin so if you're from the US imagine like one coin is like three dollars like you know you might not pick up a penny but man if I drop three bucks on the ground I'm gonna pick that up and so what people might do is they might drop some coins near your feet and anytime you, you hear coins falling it's like oh was that my coins and you look and you're looking down to go get something oh that gives that opens you up for stuff so do be careful and i think the last thing i want to talk about is if you're walking around town you know 
kids will be kids and kids will always cause trouble. But if you see like a group of teenagers or a group of tweenagers like milling about in, in a parking lot or on the side of the road and stuff like that, and you feel a little uncomfortable, maybe either turn around and walk the other way or walk to the other side of the street because you know what, kids, kids cause trouble too. So you do need to have a heads up for that. Anyway, I hope this helps you know a few of the kind of scams and issues you might have when you do come to the UK. Um, if you want to learn more, we have like overall scams from around the world. Some of my most favorite experiences with them as well, because you know what, sometimes they get us too. So I hope this helps you be a little bit more prepared when you come to the UK. I mean, honestly, you don't really have too many issues. I know the Shetland TV series that's based here in the Shetland Islands, it makes it seem like even in the, the backwoods and, and middle of, you know, the end of the world parts of the UK, there can be issues and, and murders and injuries intrigue. No, most of the time it's pretty chillax, okay? So just have a heads up for that. And I hope this gets you better prepared and realize that you're going to have a good time here. But it's always a good idea to think safe and think ahead when you are traveling to make it a great experience for you because you will really enjoy visiting the UK. Either you're only coming for a weekend to London or you're coming up to explore the Shetland Islands or heading to Wales or the Northern Ireland or wherever you're going to go. I hope you have a great time. And I'll say bye from here in the Shetland Islands.